the church praising the Lord. Blessed be the Lord for this day. Glory to Jesus. It is the assurance of the church. Blessed be the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I greet everyone with peace of the Lord. Amen. I'd like to invite those who can to stand up. We're going to read the Word of God in the book of John. John 20. We're going to read from verse 15. John 20 from verse 15, from 15 all the way to 17. John 20, from 15 to 17. This is the word of the Lord. John 20, from verse 15. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabboni, which is to say, Teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, we praise your name. We are ready for the praises, because we adore this great God. We praise the Lord for the fellowship, and now we ask that your word may go towards the heart of each one here tonight. We pray in blessing, saving, healing and delivering we plead to you this blessing i really thankful in the name of jesus amen the church may be seated my brethren the christian a christian uh, and for the last few years has gone through a moment of definition isn't it true when I speak about Christian, I'm not speaking only of Maranatha Church or any other institution. No, I'm speaking about the one who believes in God. A moment of definition in between a Jesus who is dead and a Jesus who is alive. A Jesus who is silent and a Jesus that speaks. I can guarantee you one thing tonight. The Jesus who is dead, I don't know where he is, but the living God is present here. Because we came here tonight because we know that God speaks. God speaks in our midst. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But this is not something that happened recently, even though the last few years it's been has intensified. This is not something that happened recently. And the proof of this is the text that we just read. When Jesus dies on that afternoon, the ones who were close to Jesus, they were around him, they walked with him. They just go on a tailspin. They they get desperate. Why? Because our leader died, and what is going to happen to us? If we continue reading here, the word says that the disciples they were they were they were, they locked their doors. Why is that? Because they were afraid. If they had done this, if they had done this with Jesus, they prayed wonders. They walked above the sea and raised the dead 
what they are not going to do to us. That's what was their uh, thoughts. And Mary, as we just read, she was just another one. And the fear of Mary was to say, look, my Jesus is dead. I don't want to go back to the way I was. My life has been transformed. The word says that Mary goes to the tomb with the intention and the thought that Jesus was, was dead, that all of that had already finished, just out of a mere, mere tradition. And the word says that Mary, she was crying, she was weeping, and she goes down to the tomb. And my brethren, here we see the first teaching of the, the Lord to us. In order for you to speak to Jesus, you, you don't need to go lower. You need to look up, because Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. It is interesting, no. And Mary, in that situation, Two angels coming closer to her, they ask, Woman, why are you crying? Who are you are seeking for you? Who are you seeking? And she says, Look, because they took my Lord, and I don't know where they placed him. My brethren, the Lord, he's, he's the owner. Mary had no owner. Many, like, like us, like I said in the moment of definition that we are, Jesus blessed, Jesus operated wonders, Jesus walked on above the waters, but Jesus died, and it, it, he stopped there. And the person says this because they don't have an owner. They don't. But Jesus tonight, he wants to be the Lord of our lives. And she says the following. I don't know where you placed our Lord. In my brethren. Only carries who's dead. Who doesn't have their own lives. Who does not move. Oh, you took my Lord. And many take Jesus to many places. The intermediates, they, they can go to their class. And many carry Jesus to many places. Oh, I'm going to Jesus to this place. I'm going to Jesus with Jesus to that place. Jesus will go with me, my brethren. The dead Jesus, people can carry him anywhere. But there's a difference. And I say once again that we are here tonight and we came here to hear a Jesus who's alive and Jesus who's alive he carries us if you're in a situation he takes you to green pastures you're in a difficulty you need a miracle he opens the Red Sea and you pass in Isaiah he passed to a difficulty that you say if you go through the waters I'll be there if you go through the fire I will be there only do this who is alive and Jesus who he came here tonight to praise he is the Jesus who is alive he's not a Jesus who is dead and we see here that Jesus appears right beside her he is standing and she does not recognize him and Jesus asks him Women, woman why are you crying why weeping? And that's the question of the Lord to many who are here tonight. Why are you weeping? Oh, Lord, I have a problem at my home. Why are you, are you weeping? Lord, I, have a, I need a miracle at work. I need salvation. And the Lord has shown tonight that tonight is a night of salvation. It's a night of deliverance. Everyone here can say, Oh, if the Lord asks you tonight, my brother, why are you crying? My sister, why are you crying? Children, adolescent, youth, why are you crying? You're weeping. Each one here will have here at least one petition. And my brethren, 
the only one that can ask is who is alive. Jesus is alive. He's in our midst. And we can praise the Lord because who does this? Ask, ask this question. It's not a Jesus who's dead. And he only asks this question because he can solve our problem. If I cannot resolve your problem, then I'm going to even no, I'm not even going to ask. But Jesus asks because he has power over everything. And then comes something very interesting that Jesus tells Mary. He no longer calls her as a woman. He calls her by name, Mary. And she turns and she understands. Wait a minute. I recognize this voice. In the book of Revelations 4, John says the following, that a voice, like the first voice that he had heard, spoke to him. And John was in that island of Patmos for so long, but he had not forgotten the voice that spoke to him when he was young. When he was called to serve the Lord, he was young. And now here Mary, she remembers this voice. The voice that when she was in the world, lost, forgotten by the society. She heard a voice, Mary, I love you. Mary, the world has, world has forgotten you, but I have not forgotten about you. And this was the voice that spoke to her. It is a voice that is unequal, that cannot be forgotten. My brethren, there was a moment in your life where you heard this voice. Maybe you, you, a few when they were very young, others that were just born, but they were they heard the voice of Jesus in the womb. We can prove this. And others who have heard the voice when he was they, they were older, adults, married or single. But one day we heard this voice, and this voice cannot be forgotten. And the, tonight. The Lord, Jesus does not say only Mary. He says John, he says Benjamin, he says say Ronald, he says Paul, he says Fabio. He calls you by name tonight. And asks the question he asks tonight is, why are you crying? Put your name as in the place of the name of Mary. Because the Lord only asks this question because he has the power to wipe away your tears. If you're crying, you're not going to cry anymore. In the name of Jesus, the Lord Jesus is going to take away these tears. Whatever, in the name of Jesus, what is bringing you sadness, the Lord is going to give you joy. What brings you insecurity, the Lord is going to give you peace. And I, I just heard this last song. That's why we read chapter verse 17. Jesus says to Mary, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. My brother and sister, there is still time. It's not over. The Lord has shown because He wants to bless. And this Jesus that many know out there that the Lord has shown tonight that there are a few specifically. There is a woman that sees Jesus in this way like the religion sees. A very good Jesus. So you feel so sorry for Jesus. A Jesus that you can carry on your around your neck and Jesus that you hang on the wall of your house. But the Lord Jesus wants to speak with this woman specifically, but also with all of us. Jesus did not stop on that cross. Jesus is alive. He's in our midst. His spirit is the one that speaks in the midst of the church. And this here is not simply a bunch of songs that we sing and we go out or because we are happy. No. We are, we are here because you are seeking for something. And whoever seeks, finds. What are you looking for? Jesus has. Oh, oh, I need this. Jesus has. Oh, I need this blessing. Jesus has. This is the Jesus that we serve. And there is still time. Do not detain me, Mary. Do not detain me. Because uh, there are still things that I need to do on this earth. Do not detain me. Because I want to save. I want to operate. And that's the blessing, the will of the Lord for us tonight. We're going to sing a song. We're going to praise the name of the Lord. And you're going to place your name in the place of the name of Mary. And the question is asking is, why do you cry?
His passing, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We're going to have a word of glorification to the Lord. Amen, my Lord. Lord, we praise you. Because one day, you pass upon our lives. We had an amazing meeting with you, Lord. And you called us by name. And you place joy in our lives. You transform our being. You taught us to inhabit and, and live in peace and walk in green pastures, being fed in difficult days. You are present. In easy days, you are present. And tonight, Lord, we glorify you. We praise you, Lord. Praise your name. Because you are such a wonderful Father for the mighty God that rescued us. And with strong hands, takes care of us. To, all, to you be all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise and adoration in the name of Jesus. My brethren, the Lord was showing in a couple of gifts that there was a woman that she sees the religion and many times she grows up like this. That was the, the reference to man. That's what she learned. That's what, what she was taught when it was, she was raised. And that's what going to lead her to the Lord. But the Lord tonight is telling her the following. She needs to pay attention to the experiences that she has, her spiritual experiences. What is human is going to be left behind. What is dust is going to back to dust. And, but what is God's is going to back to God. And she needs to understand that Jesus he is not limited. The Spirit of God has no limitation. The human reason has limits. Oh, but I, I believe in Jesus. But all, only until that point, from that point forward, I am not sure. No, Jesus is, is God of everything. He's in control of everything. He is God yesterday, today, today and will be tomorrow. And this is the Jesus that is being introduced to us tonight. The Lord also has shown a woman that her thoughts to be very clear that she is in sin in her thoughts to the point that it's becoming visible. But tonight, the Holy Spirit is revealing this to her. And she paid attention to this. Blessed be the name of the Lord for this. Because the Spirit does that. The Spirit shows not to expose us, but out of love. And tonight, she, she knows that this brings a harm to her life. But the Lord wants to give you deliverance for this tonight. The Lord also has shown a family that came to the service tonight because of the persistence of a child a son, and especially the mother. She needs a spiritual blessing and a physical blessing. And our Lord is so wonderful that He does not only say, say what you need, but He also resolve, gives you what you need. The word is very interesting. A single word of God is action. I can say it, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to do. But when God say, says He does, there may be light, and there was light. And we see afterwards, we, we see the disciples afraid and being persecuted. What is going to happen to us? And Jesus appeared in that midst and says, Peace be with you. And verse 19, they are in desperation. On verse 20, they rejoiced. Because the word of God is, is this. And if you came here tonight and you say, oh, my, my son or daughter, a child asked me, so I came. But the Lord wants to give you a spiritual blessing and wants to heal you physically. Blessed be the man, Lord. And we believe in this because we believe in the word of God. Now I invite the brethren to stand up. We're going to be bringing the service to a close. Lord, we praise you. We praise you because we entered into your house, glorified your name, and we, you speak to us. We praise you, Lord, because for 
all the victories, the trials, the tribulation that we go through in your presence, but in everything we see your hands upon us. Lord, we praise you for the experience that you have given to your people, the salvation that is offered to us. And now we ask that you may ask, accept the service in your presence, in your throne of grace. Continue with us, blessing each family throughout this night and tomorrow, preparing, Lord, our lives for that great day, the day of the victory. We ask this blessing, already really thankful, in the name of Jesus, amen. The church may be seated. If anyone needs uh, a prayer or an assistance, we are here to give you assistance and pray for you. Lonely reminding you that f after tomorrow or this week, it begins the topic of the month for us to pray for the pastors, the anointed and the families in their secular life, the professional life, their health, the families, generally speaking, but mainly the, their spiritual life. We're going to begin with early dawn. Tomorrow we have a service, 10.30 in the morning. And afterwards, 7.30 p.m., our service of glorification of the Lord. And to all, the peace of the Lord. Right now, we're going to have a meeting after assistance. We're going to have a short assistance, Group C. And to all, the peace of the Lord.